And good morning. Welcome to our midweek edition of Virginia This Morning. I'm Cheryl Miller. This weekend marks a big anniversary for Linwood Holton Elementary School in North Richmond. Their PTA has an annual event called the Holton Hustle, and the 15th event is coming up this Saturday morning. Joining us with details are the event chair, Kentree Smith, along with Holton PE instructor Cordell Watkins. Good morning. Big smile. So obviously you're excited about this event. Tell us about the Holton Hustle. Yes, we are super excited about this event. It's our, as you said, our 15th year having it. It's a run, a 5K run and walk, as well as a one mile fun run for the kids. And we have a post race festival that begins at 10 a.m. Now, a lot of people might say, oh, I thought I missed it, because usually this event is held earlier in the year, isn't it? Yes. Um, We've normally had this event held in March every year, but this year we decided to push it back to May. Mm -hmm. Any particular reason why? Yes, to avoid the, the bad weather. Uh, smart <laughs> idea. Unpredictable. Unpredictable, Unpredictable is, more, is, be, is a better way. Been yeah. a lot of snow the last couple of years, and we're excited to uh, to move it to May. And the weather's going to be perfect. It's going to be 82 and sunny. And yeah, no, you were checking out the forecast. I was. Yes, I was we just, were. We were just watching the forecast, so I'm excited. It's going to be 82 and sunny. Uh, we have a big festival afterwards. It's going to be perfect for that. You know, the runners normally like it a little cold, mm -hmm. but you know, the morning temperature will be around 50, 60 degrees, and then it'll warm up throughout the day. So, I'm excited people to come out to the after party, the festival, even if they can't make it to either the kids' one mile run or the actual 5K. Yes. Now, obviously, this is something the entire school gets involved in. How have you been training the students? Oh yeah. <laughs> How so have we've been, been actually been training all year. You know, um, this is kind of a culminating event, not only for our school but for our other schools around the city, you know, come middle of May is SOL testing for a lot of folks um, in the counties and in the city. And um, it's kind of a culminating event and, you know, we're excited to be able to have people come to school and enjoy a healthy um, habit and uh, enjoy the north side. It's a beautiful, picturesque part of the mm -hmm. city. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see people come walk or run and walk and run mm -hmm. um, around Bellevue and Ginner Park. I mean, it's an extraordinary part of the city. I'm glad to share it with mm -hmm. um, other other folks. And you were talking about the kids taking a lot of tests. This is kind of like a benchmark for them too because to be able to complete something like this is is, is kind of important for them. It is. It is the one mile um, run portion, you know, something we all kind of grew up doing, um, you know, uh, part of our presidential fitness exam, mm -hmm. fitness test, and it's kind of, um, you know, a way to uh, be healthy and, 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 you know, enjoy something our parents used to do. As well. And in putting this together, you're also kind of bringing in other schools because they're invited as well, but they can also kind of share in the fundraising. Oh, yes, definitely. We created, um, about two years ago, we created the 5K School Share Program, which enables any school that has a minimum of 10 students come and physically participate in our 5K or our one-mile run. Our um, PTA will donate 50% of their registration costs back mm -hmm. to their school. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So really getting everybody involved yes. and getting them involved to do this as well. Um, tell us about the post-race festival because that's always is the part I'm interested in. <laughs> yes. Do you want to? Yeah, I'd love to. Um, um, <laughs> so the post-race festival is just going to be um, a lot of fun. Um, I'm really excited about this giant Velcro wall that we got this year. Oh. I was looking at some <laughs> pictures, showing some pictures of some folks in the back. Apparently it's like a trampoline and a Velcro wall. We put kids and adults, if you want, uh, in a I was Velcro say, suit. You first one up. <laughs> I, I, I'm probably going to test it because I'm yeah. not sure. I haven't yeah. tried it before or seen it before, so I'm excited. <laughs> but we actually put you in a Velcro suit. There's a trampoline and splat right against the Velcro wall. So I'm excited to see how that kind of turns out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, yes, the it's kids always interesting. peeling the people off That's the correct. Velcro The kids wall. have been asking me how we're going to get down. I said, well, yeah. we'll figure that out when we, <laughs> when we get to that now. Uh, but, um, you know, we also have a giant obstacle course. Um, we're doing archery with compound bows. Um, we're doing backyard bass fishing, thanks to the Department of Game and Inland Fishery. There's some golf, thanks to First Tee Golf, and some work we've done with them in the past. Um, cornhole, all kinds of kind of spring, summertime activities that the kids and families and even adults can love. Mm -hmm. I know I'm going to love it. Mm -hmm. And hopefully it's an opportunity too because the weather's going to be great and there's going to be a lot of people there and a lot of excitement to get children involved and interested again in playing outside and being outside. Yeah, yeah. I think that we're, you know, some of those activities that I talked about are kind of alternative activities to basketball and soccer, which are two activities we'll have there as well. Right. But, you know, some of these alternative activities, see what other things the kids might like to do, even the run itself. Mm -hmm. You know, there's lots of great runs around um, the city, great ways to be active around the city, and I'm excited to see uh, people come out to the race and enjoy, even if they've never done a race before or they just want to come walk, like I said, around the north side. Um, you know, it's going to be a great event. Mm -hmm. And the Holton PTA has been very active in, in making the school important for the students and teachers, but also important to the neighborhood, hasn't it? Yes, it definitely has. And that's what I think um, we are truly able to do with this event, because it's not just for the Holton students 
um, where many people think it's definitely for the community. That's why we wanted to invite the other schools out through our 5K school share program and, you know, talking, to, uh, being able to provide our information in different local businesses on MacArthur and different surrounding areas and enables us to spread the word about our it's yeah, it's, and, and the school is really centrally located. It's mm -hmm. easy to get to. It's right on the corner of Laburnum and Hermitage, mm -hmm. which is actually Boulevard. There's two 64 exits that get off right there, Boulevard exactly. or um, Laburnum <laughs> Avenue. So, you know, it's pretty centrally located, easy to get to. You can't in miss it. <laughs> you can. No, you can't. It's really a beautiful can. school, too. And for people who are, are more serious runners and walkers, you're doing chip timing this year. Oh, yes, definitely. That was a big um, change for us. We actually started chip timing last year, but mm -hmm. this year we're chip timing both events. And what... With the combination of the chip timing and the cash prizes and the gift cards from one of our sponsors, Lucky Foot, we're definitely, you know, turning up the game this year with, the, <laughs> with that. Well, everybody should check their calendars and yes. make sure that they block off a couple of hours to come and, and join you. Cantrice and Cordell, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much Thanks for having us. You're very so welcome. The 15th annual Holton Hustle 5K is this Saturday, May 16th, starting at 9 a.m. at Linwood Holton Elementary School. Again, that's at 1600 Laburnum Avenue. Just go to our website online at wtbr.com slash VTM. We'll link you to all the details.